Hello everybody. Happy Monday night into Tuesday morning. It's about um, one o'clock here in Chicago. And um, I just wanted to share um, some great news and say hello to everybody. Um, I guess you could call this episode seven if you wanted to of Morgan is Done in Chicago. Um, but we're just going to kind of chit chat here a little bit. So uh, Morgan's in Chicago here in Chicago, Illinois, in Uptown. Um, it's currently uh, about, like I said, about one something in the morning. Still kind of late. Uh, I just got done with working. I came home and um, started hanging out with Morgan and um, relaxed a little bit. Uh, I even decided to have myself a little beer. Nothing wrong with a little indulgence once in a while after a hard day's work, you know. Put on some music, turn on the lights, and just kind of kind of relaxing around the den. I'm just taking in a nice evening now that I'm home from work. Um, I love how this takes effect. Isn't that cool how that works like that? It's beautiful. As you can see, I bought a new lamp for my lava lamp. Um, Morgan's guiding light to her drinking bowl, I guess. And she decides to use that one instead of the one over there that is perfectly good. But, you know, she does what she wants. It's her den. Um, so we uh, had the patio all set up at one point, And um, unfortunately, uh, Mother Nature decided to have a fit here in Chicago and made it very uh, snowy and icky for plants to be outside. So I ended up having to bring the plants back inside for a little bit. And I'm sorry if it's a little dark. Um, maybe that helps a little bit. Yeah, not much, but a little something. Um, so I brought the plants back inside and just kind of salvaged the ones that were already a bit older. Uh, they seem to be doing okay. This one here tend, it seems to be browning a little bit. Uh, maybe we can get him back on the right track. Um, hopefully this week I can put them back out and they won't be an issue with the weather uh, moving forward. But then again, you never know. I mean, there's, it is Chicago. It's the Midwest. Things um, tend to uh, change. The weather changes quite drastically and quickly here. So... Um, Hopefully we can put those back out in the patio. That would be nice uh, this week. Um, so in the episode before, we talked about the South, and we talked about the home, and we talked about the world. And in the last episode, we went on um, kind of a kind of a long chit chat. It was about forty three minutes. That's the longest episode yet. Morgan's uh, down from her drinking pedestal. Hi, Morgan. Say hello, Morgan. Morgan. She's uh, a little mad at me right now. She we were outside exploring um, when I came home. Hi, Morgan. Come here. Morgan, come say hi to the peoples. Morgan. Hey, sweetheart. She's like, what, Daddy? I'm busy focusing. Anyways, so, aw. Hi there, uh, Manny. How are you? Um, so I came home and, um, as I said, I had to take apart the patio because of the weather. Um, but I came up the back stairs and someone had left me a nice little box. So I guess left us a nice little box of pots and some potting soil. How awesome is that? Um, I'm great, Manny. Thank you. Life is amazing. As you see, we're doing a little episode here with Morgan. Uh, she's a little mad at me because we're outside and now we're right back inside and she wants to go back out ever so so. But it is what it is. Anywho, um, so let's go ahead and take a peek outside because um, I also acquired a nice little, see I said outside and she knew exactly what I was talking about. She's so clever. I love Morgan. She's too smart for her own good sometimes, I swear to God. But, you know... That's that. That's the that's the life. That's the life we lead. Sorry, I have to take the flash off because we're right outside. I have to be a little bit quiet as well. So let me shut the flash back on. There we go. So we're back up here on the patio. As I said, it's about one o'clock in the morning, so I don't want to be too loud. Um, but as you can see, I took the plants back inside. I acquired this lovely shelf here. Isn't that great? That's so excellent. Um, the weather is not allowed for plants to be outside right now, so I had to bring them inside. Anywho, 
So I came home and I found this box sitting by my door. Isn't this lovely? There's pots in there. There's some um, pot bottoms in here too. There's um, a bag of soil. How nice is this? Someone just left it for me on my doorstep. It's so cool. Um, so we're gonna definitely uh, count our blessings and thank the, thank the universe for giving us a little something something to motivate us to get to the garden center to buy more plants for the patio. That would be excellent. Um, but keep an eye on Morgan because it's nighttime and I don't need her running off anywhere. Um, because you can see I actually needed some more soil for um, up here. I planted some seeds I got from the dollar store. Here I'll get the box real quick. Um, I got these seeds shaded area because it said shaded back here um, with all the um, shared patio so I got this box as you can see for three dollars it's um, a great blend it has like over like over 50,000 seeds or something like that in there or 5,000 seeds contains at least 5,000 seeds it says right there it's awesome so I went ahead and put them up here so hopefully we'll get some uh, wild flowers blooming. That would be great. Um, let's keep an eye out for Morgan. Make sure she didn't run down the stairs. Morgan. Morgan. So yeah, so someone left that for us. How awesome is that? Um, Make sure we keep an eye out for our little one. Morgan, there she is. Sneaking around back there. Oh, there see, there's her kitty laser eyes. She's like, I see you. <laughs> Isn't that great? I love it. So, um, yeah, so hopefully bring the plants back out this week. That would be great. We can have them back out here have it beautiful again. So we'll get these plants started hopefully soon. Morgan, uh, I acquired this lovely shelf. Um, someone was throwing it out in our um, complex, so I figured this would make a great outdoor unit to put more plants up there and uh, maybe put my gardening tools on there. Cause like, as you can see, I have some pots and stuff down here still too. So we'll see, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, little water bowl here for all the kitties and such. Uh, I should probably change it though with the rainfall. It probably isn't the cleanest. Morgan, don't drink that. She's like, no, daddy, it's gross. Oh, no, she's running away. Okay. Well, um, so Morgan. Morgan. Come here. Come here. Come here. Let's get some treats. So I go grab Morgan real quick here. Yeah. We'll go back inside and we can talk about a book and we can talk about some magic and um, she's like, Daddy, I don't want to go inside, but we're going to go inside. Come on, let's go inside. Come on, sweetheart. She's like, but, yeah, I hear that. That's how she talks to me sometimes. Meows. Okay, so we're back inside. You can be a little louder, louder now. Um, so in the last episode, we kind of covered a lot of subjects. We talked about the world, we talked about religion, we talked about um, not being a uh, self-righteous person and thinking that you're over-entitled or that you're better than anybody. Everybody's equal. Um, we should all strive to better each other and better the world as a whole, not try to hurt each other or put each other down or belittle each other in any way, shape, or form. Um, no, I don't think I have any treats for Morgan. Oh, I do have some treats for Morgan, actually. I have, haven't been to the store lately. I've been kind of extremely busy um, getting ready for a new exhibition at uh, my museum here in Chicago. Um, the, um, 
we're having an exhibition opening on May 24th, and I'm not going to do a commercial for it, but um, if you're interested, you can check out uh, museum.tv for the Museum of Broadcast Communications, and you can come in and see the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame uh, coming to Chicago opening May 24th. So maybe check that out. Um, we're going to go ahead and skip past that because that's just a little fun thing. But I've been so busy preparing the museum for all of that um, that I haven't had a chance to get to the garden center and I haven't had a chance to get to the store. So we'll um, work on that, won't we, Morgan? Uh, we'll find some time to... Is that Daddy, can I have the treats already? Quit talking. Uh, I'm like, well, I can't help but to chit-chat. You know, I like to ramble sometimes. So she's like, Daddy, just give me the goddamn treats. Yes, Morgan, I hear you. We'll get your treats. Yes, see, she's like, give me the treats, damn it. Morgan. Yeah, we got a little low battery there. That's great. You know, this is one thing I noticed too um, lately with um, trying to do um, these podcasts. Um, sometimes the moment doesn't uh, quite work out. My phone is, tends to be a little low. Um, so I was always like, oh my goodness, you know, I want to do a, sh I want to do an episode or I want to talk about something, but, um, I have to wait for my phone to charge and by the time that happens, I'm busy working again. So, anywho, Morgan, come on and get some treats over here. These are soft kitty treats from Nine Lives. Um, Ocean Medley. She likes her ocean blends. Um, she's going to gobble those up quicker, quicker than anything, I'm sure. We want to get a little kitty view of this. She's like, look at that. Look at that. So again, you know, life is amazing. We treat everyone with respect and we try to do the best that we do with life. Uh, we never want to hurt anybody or put anyone down uh, or make them feel bad. Life is about empowering and healing and loving each other. Um, that's one of the things about being a druid, being a practitioner of magic. You have the power to heal. You have the power to make things happen. You should make things happen. Um, and, you know, that kind of leads to the next subject of how do you know how to access your abilities, what abilities you have, the things that you can actually manifest or uh, take control of in some way, shape, or form. Um, so a good way to start is analyze yourself. Do you have dreams? Do you have visions of your dreams? Do you have um, instances where... You uh, maybe have deja vu because your intuition is so heightened. Uh, maybe you have, she's like, Daddy, we had treats and I want to go back outside. And I'm not going to do that right now because I only opened the door so we can talk about those um, pots we got. What a nice little blessing. Um, so come on, Morgan, let's go ahead and head back over this way. She's like, nope, I want to sit right here. Okay. So we try to access the idea that we do have abilities to begin with. Everybody is psychically connected and aware of the all giving source, whether it's positive or negative or however you choose to use it. But we all have the ability to access uh, the Ashaka records. We have the ability to um, connect with the great divine. We have the ability to have foresight. We have the ability to have um, healing powers. Um, we just have to learn how to access those things. We're all indigo children, which is one thing I talked about um, in the last episode of the world, which are the healing, the healers. Those are who are spiritually enlightened and are aware of uh, their abilities instantly. Some of us take a little longer to wake up, but you know, that's what uh, this series is hopefully going to teach all of us is how to um, be more in tune to your guiding instincts and to your um, abilities as an individual so you can better the world and, and make yourself more successful as a practitioner of love and light and as someone who wishes to do well in the world. Um, Morgan's going to continue to try her best to get out these door, but that's not going to happen, Morgan. I forgot I'm zoomed in a little bit here. <laughs> there we go. Oh, Morgan. Oh, sweetheart. So, you know, we talk about how to respect one another and how there's no wrong way or right way to do magic. Um, you can do magic in any form, Christian, paganism, druidism, if you choose that line or path. If you choose to be a Buddhist, you can do magic in any 
energy working that way too. And that's the beauty of um, accessing energy is that you don't have to have a faith. You just have to understand that energy is ever flowing around us. Um, a good example would be like, look at the ley lines that surround the world. Um, these are access points and Chicago happens to be on a ley line, which is super awesome. Um, and which also allows us to tap into more raw energies and raw powers that um, we need to understand and research before we can go ahead and access those because they can be dangerous, not only to yourself, but to your surroundings and to what you wish to manifest and or make happen around you and in your life. Um, so that's why we always have our research. We always have our um, references available to us, as we always talk about in each episode, a book. Um, so Morgan's going to continue to persist to go outside, but unfortunately, see how she's loving on me right now. But Daddy, Daddy, I love you. Can we please just take her on a stroll? Can you just take her on a stroll on the patio? Let me run back and forth. No, Morgan, how about we just go ahead and uh, continue our chit chat about how we should do our research. Um, and, you know, that's one thing that really inspired me to do this uh, podcast and be able to work with individuals and get some perspective. And um, one thing I came across is that people don't understand the sources and resources that are available to them. Um, a lot of uh, younger Wiccans and Pagans I was uh, talking to recently um, told me about how they're going on Pinterest or how they're um, checking out these um, how-to self-help sites um, that may not necessarily be teaching them the proper way. Um, but again, you know, we all have our own methods. That's the beauty of um, being a healer, being a person of uh, free will. We all learn to work in our own way to make life better. Um, so we have to do our research. And so when we talk about our resources and what we can do, we have to look at the issues of where these um, sources of knowledge are. For instance, if you look at Wikipedia, um, anybody can alter that to be fact um, when it actually is not fact. I mean, for goodness sakes, fake news is everywhere these days. Um, so when we talk about resources and you talk about Pinterest and you talk about wanting to go on um, Google sites and look at television and um, things like that, these are not these are not reliable sources. If you want to learn about proper magic and energy use, and learn about how to um, properly give blessings or healing energy, then you have to be able to find a reliable source, which is picking up a real book. I know it sounds unbelievably unmanageable. I know a real book, something with a hardcover, pages in between, usually over a thousand, is a pretty good bet. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and move ourselves over to the library and we're going to uh, look at our book for this episode. Morgan, how about we come ahead and um, look at a real book um, right this way. Come on. She's like, excellent. I love books. I love books too, Morgan. So um, as you see, as I talk about references and being able to have um, a source that you can pull from, um, one thing I have here, which is one book I absolutely adore, um, is uh, the Encyclopedia, the Ultimate Encyclopedia of uh, Mythology, followed by the Encyclopedia of Mythology, followed by the Treasury of Classical Mythology, and the Fates and Wisdoms of the Ancients, and so on and so forth um, across the board here a little bit, which is absolutely um, fantastic. So being able to have a reliable source written by multiple authors, multiple scholars, um, is absolutely great. We have to be able to read between the lines and be able to figure out what works best um, for yourself and what works best for giving energy and love towards um, those around you and those who um, are in your life and who you wish to make better for themselves. So, um, Morgan? Uh, as you can see, Morgan's been uh, aching to go back out there. The weather is so fluctuating, but hopefully it will be better sooner than later. 
That's the idea here in the Midwest. If you don't like the weather, just wait five minutes, it'll change for you. Um, so make sure folks you do your research. As I always say, life is a, um, has many options and many sources that you can pull from. And just make sure that when you pull from a source that you're, you're pulling from a reliable source and not a source that is um, a hodgepodge mix match of different things. Um, here, I'm going to go ahead and pull this book out. Um, so when I talk about, you know, doing uh, your research, as you can see, the Ultimate Encyclopedia of Mythology. Absolutely fantastic. Um, and so I have actually read this cover to cover. I'm just kind of open a page here. Um, this is about Nordic legends. So as you can see, it doesn't take much to uh, look, open a page, read a sentence, read a paragraph, learn something new every day. That's what life is all about, learning something new every day. Never being stuck in the same rut, you know? Always find a home, find a way. Morgan knows. Yes, Morgan, I agree. She's like... But Daddy, can we go outside? No, Morgan, we can't go outside. So yeah, so make sure you do research. Make sure you learn the proper things. Life has many options, many resources that you can pull from. If you need uh, spell weaving and spell casting knowledge, uh, feel free to comment and or um, pick up a book by uh, several well-known authors like Scott Cunningham, uh, who uh, wrote um, several great books for people of our stature. Uh, one of them being uh, Cunningham's Encyclopedia to Wicca in the Kitchen, which teaches you how to work about uh, and cook with magic and herbs and all that great stuff and putting your energy into the food. Uh, one movie I really absolutely adore is a Spanish film from Mexico called um, Agua de la Chocolate or something like along that line and which means um, chocolate for water or water for chocolate and it talks about and the movie is about this girl who gets um, her emotions wrapped into her food and that's exactly what you do when you cook. You go ahead and you put your emotions into it and that's energy working, that's magic working. And you see, that's the thing people don't realize is that you don't have to be a witch, you don't have to be a pagan, you don't have to be a druid, you don't have to be anything but you to use magic. And it's up to you to use it for the best of your ability in the way you can. Love and light. Oh, thank you, Goda, uh, Goda. I didn't see you. Oh, thank you for your comment. Goda says, you're a chunk there, Morgan. She's like, but can we go outside and be chunky? Look at those eyes. Look at those darling eyes. Little laser eyes. But Daddy, see? She's pawing at the door. We're so close to the outside. I can almost smell it. <laughs> um, but, you know, Morgan, um, that's the thing, people, I want to talk about, too. If you let your pets outside, Morgan, uh, a prime example, uh, make sure you take care of them in the evening in the daytime. Make sure they're not being threatened by other animals around them. Um, in this segment of Morgan's Den, um, not only do we want to take care of ourselves, but we want to make sure that we take care of our familiars. As we talked about in the last episode, episode 5, about how to um, commune and make the proper environment, we also want to make sure that when we take our kitties and our doggies out in public that we create the proper environment for them out in the world as well. Uh, make sure they're safe, make sure they're loved, make sure they have everything they need. Yes, Morgan, make sure she has everything she needs forever. Yeah. But she's like, Daddy, what I need is to go outside. No, you're not going outside. It's almost 1.30 in the morning, I do believe, or something close to that. I look at the clock. It is 1.31. Uh, um, so, folks... You know, make sure you take care of your pets. Make sure that they're not being threatened by animals. If you are afraid that they may get fleas or something, make sure you do the proper medication. Uh, make sure that you always do your regular checkups for them. And make sure that uh, you really give forth uh, the loving, wholesome care that they need. Because they are your world and you are their world forever until they come and go. And remember to always take responsibility for them no matter what. Um, the circumstances are. Uh, pets 
are here for a short time, then you're here for a long time, and they're only here to love and care. And they, that's the best thing about them. They only want love. Only want love. All you need is love, huh, Morgan? She says, yes, Daddy. Now open the goddamn door so we can get the fuck outside. And I'm like, whoa, Morgan, such language. Now you're definitely not going outside, I guess. <laughs> Um, and you know, that's the thing, people. The Morgan's Den is not um, necessarily PG. Uh, I wouldn't say we're R or NC or... Um, we're just us, huh, Morgan? We're just the Morgan's Den and we do things the way we do and uh, we just love and light and we make sure the best of everything. Um, oh, she's like, yes, Daddy, that's so true. Now pick me up. So I'm standing between her and the door, so now she's going to get all lovey on me. Um, but okay, so in this episode, folks, we talked about doing your research. Make sure you pull from reliable sources around the world. You don't want to just be stuck in one mundane um, rut of knowledge. And make sure that you can pull from people who care and deeply about the subject and are scholars and knowledgeable in those situations of what you're trying to do. Um, hopefully, it's to better the world, better yourself, make things uh, better for your world around us. Um, so many blessings and thank you to whomever left the wonderful care package of pots and, um, bottoms and, uh, the extra soil for me. That was absolutely fantastic. Thank you ever so much. Uh, me and Morgan both re really appreciate it. Um, so, you know, uh, one thing I forgot to mention, um, in the last episode we talked at the end about the satchel we made, um, and we hung up on the front door to protect us from the evil. Um, and then we also um, talked about the taped on amulet in the um, fourth video, which I found. So what happened there was that um, I couldn't necessarily make out the image on the amulet. So I went ahead and did a burn session and destroyed the negative and destroyed whatever energy that was behind that and sent it back to the universe and hopefully recycled it in a positive manner. Um, so moving on from that, um, everything here in the world of Morgan's Den is absolutely fantastic. We did have a new addition besides what was on the patio. We talked about the book. Uh, we talked about um, Morgan Care and making sure life is beautiful for your pets. Um, so um, we had these wonderful 3D stickers come along. Um, thank you, Robert. You're absolutely fantastic on these little gifts of, that he gives us here at the den. So here's the drawing my brother drew for me of a dragon um, that I put in this frame. It's on a tapestry. Um, and so Robert went ahead and got me these 3D stickers. How cool, huh? Look at that. Little dragons just soaring around. Absolutely fantastic. And as you can see, I mean, they're literally sticking right off the wall. Look at that. How cool, huh? Kind of a prime example. Look at that. Meat. So thank you, Robert. So, so many blessings this week. So many blessings. You know, and that's the beauty of the Morgan's Den. You give to the world, the world gives to you. You give to the universe, the universe gives to you. Um, Morgan's still pawing at the door. You're not going outside. Come on. Come on. In here. So, again, people be well to each other. Make sure you all love and care and um, give the absolute most darling, darling, grace to one another it's only best that you do what's right for each other make love and light and not hate and war there's no reason for that nonsense so on that note folks uh we're gonna continue our evening here at morgan's den and we're gonna take a maybe a little schnoz here and go to sleep i think for the evening that sound good morgan time for nap time for nap nap and go to bed She's like, but Daddy, it's only 1.30. We have the whole night available. And I'm like, no, Morgan. Daddy has to work in the morning. So much love, everybody. Many blessings to all. Again, thank you for the wonderful care package. 
Make sure you, you check your sources of magic that you wish to do. Uh, remember, there's again, there's no right way or wrong way to practice. We're not above each other. Morgan's like, Daddy, if you're not going to go outside, then I guess that's that. Anywho, be well to each other. Many blessings from the Morgan's Den. Morgan, come say bye to the guest. Come here, baby. Just many blessings, everybody. Love and light. Aww. Okay, people, take care. Thank you for viewing. We'll see you in episode seven. Won't we, Morgan? Yes, we will. Okay, many blessings and much love, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.